For more than 40 years, the Neptune Festival in Virginia Beach is a sign of locals taking back the oceanfront. It's three days filled with music, local businesses, and amazing sand sculptures. But Madeline Schmidt shows us this year there is one sculpture making waves. A beautiful afternoon turns into a beautiful night here on the boardwalk in Virginia Beach. A successful first day at the annual Neptune Festival, complete with incredible sand sculptures. Now, one of them stands out, though, and it's not because it's any more artistic or imaginative than the others. I think it's absolutely wonderful. We need to remember them in every way that we can. Sitting outside the tent full of extravagant sand art, visible to all is this subdued sand sculpture. It actually brought chills to me because just thinking of what those people went through, but then this is also such a nice tribute to the families and to everybody. Virginia Beach strong, remembrance, simplistic, yet powerful enough to make you forget about the commotion from the annual Neptune Festival at the oceanfront this weekend. The carefully crafted piece honors the victims of the May 31st mass shooting in Building 2 at the Municipal Center. Seeing this, Kim Clater reflects on that day. She wasn't sure if her daughter, who works for the city, was safe. I was just in a state of panic. Not, I couldn't get a hold of her, you know, nothing. New Jersey-based sand sculpture artist John Gowdy is behind the emotion-evoking artwork. It touches even those who weren't directly impacted by an all too common tragedy. You really don't know and you hope that you can actually go out and enjoy yourself, but it could be it could happen at any time. Unfortunately, there will be a special ceremony to honor the first responders and the 12 victims of the mass shooting. That's on Sunday at 31st Street Park reporting in Virginia Beach tonight. Madeline Schmidt 13 News Now.